I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. killing myself before I ever kill another Templar. I can't believe it! It worked! It really worked! You flew, Ezio! You flew! See, si, but not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look, let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this pezzo di merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, che idea del cazzo! Eureka! Of course! <laughs> Genio! What is he doing now? It rises. It needs fire. Heated air under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry. I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men moving behind you and hold the locations. They light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. It's 
not like what it got you in the door, Jack. A shipment from China. Some kind of colored powder they brought over for a big party. Really expensive. If you ask me, the way these nobles spend their money. The rats will have a rare treat this night. It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio.
was that? Don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come, it's your move. Don't drink that! You are too late. The Doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, Signore. But you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, Assassin. Forgive me, Signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? <laughs> Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the Doge! The Doge is dead! <laughs> It takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You killed me? You killed me? Ezio! Dio mio! You're alive! I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. 
Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. You've done me good, brother. Ma certo. But I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarigo. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at... a uh, uh, mutual friends. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district. To the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um... <clears throat> in a way, yes. Sister, and that's you. You can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, how about that mask? Marco Barbarigo. Although his brother Agostino was destined for greatness, Marco left his mark on Venetian history as well. A tyrant since he was barely old enough to walk, whatever Marco wanted he got. There are records here for jewels, entire fleets of ships, all paid for by his family and all ordered directly from him. And then there's his personal life. Apparently, Marco's wife, Carlotta, used to be married to his bodyguard, Dante Moro. Dante was captain of the city guard, an heir to one of the most prestigious families in Venezia. Marco was supposedly his close friend, right? But get this, Marco decides he wants Carlotta. In the Catholic religion, marriages till death do us part, and Marco's a good Catholic. So, he hires a hit on Dante. Dante gets stabbed three times in the body, and once in the head. But he doesn't die. He recovers with severe brain damage. Dante becomes like a child. So, what does Marco do? Well, he hires Dante as his personal bodyguard, and he gets him to sign a confession annulling the marriage. Marco takes Carlotta and keeps Dante as his personal slave. What a lovely fella.
There is something moving over there in that haystack. Sit back down. We're in the middle of playing a tarot game. Oh, no. This time I saw something. I know it. That's what you say every time. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. There was something in the haystack, you feminucha. I'm tired of your jokes. This isn't funny. I could have been killed. By that? You don't take our work seriously. One misstep. One time you turn your back in the wrong direction. And you're dead. Because of rats. I'm not going to explain myself to you anymore. Please, don't stop. This is so entertaining. Let me be. Please! <clears throat> Leave me alone! Run past <laughs> Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Run faster!
<laughs> Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora! Meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. <coughs> Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Don't come any closer, or I would... Carve up another one! Have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to read Venice of Marco Barbarico. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. <laughs> what is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. 